water supply because we don't get a lot of the natural filtration here, but when you have the paper mill, all the farming we have around here, the old Kim Strand plant, which is now Solution or Ascend, that stuff gets right into our water supply and that's not ECUA's fault. A lot of people like to blame ECUA, but it's not the water company's fault that what gets in our water here. Just a little standard pull test kit. This is a chemical called orthotolidine. It reacts strictly to chlorine. We call it OTO solution. We'll put five drops in there. If there's no chlorine in the water, it will not change the color. It will stay clear because it is a clear chemical. Some of the pool companies have very stiff regulations on chlorine because of how strong it is. I mean, technically chlorine is a poison. That's why it cleans so well. Because yeah. it physically eats everything it touches. Wow. So see in your pool, you want to have in between one and three You're parts. You're talking like a swimming pool. A swimming pool outside. One yeah. to three parts per million of chlorine is where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Anything over three, they'll tell you not to swim in it. It won't kill you, but it's just going to be very irritant to your eyes and mm -hmm. stuff. Right above my finger, you can see the word ideal. Yeah. which is 1 to 1.5. That's how much chlorine you want to have in your pool is about one part per million of chlorine. The problem is legally as of the last five years they can put four parts per million of chlorine coming into your home. Wow. That's four times more chlorine than you want to have in your swimming pool outside that you can put in your drinking and bathe in water and tell you that it's safe. When did that you. happen? May 17th of 2010. So what we'll do, you take the OTO solution, you put the five drops in here, Ew. Oh yeah. If there was no chlorine in the water, it would stay clear. Okay. How dark that color is is just showing you that we're running pretty high in chlorine today. Now watch this. So we know there's chlorine in the water because we just tested it. EPA says when you take a five minute shower or a five minute bath that your body can absorb the same amount of chemicals you would get from drinking a liter of water. At the American Journal of Public Health, they say that up to two thirds of the harmful effects of the chlorine is due to inhalation and skin absorption while showering. We'll put the same five drops and test for chlorine again. And so how long did you have your hands submerged About in there? 35, 45 seconds. I don't like that you're using yourself as a guinea pig. No, yeah. You're saying you absorbed all the chlorine. It's all, it it's takes less yellow. than 35 seconds for every bit of the chlorine in that bowl to absorb into the pores in our skin. It's, it's, all it is is it's stuff that just people don't think about. This is not groundbreaking news. It's been happening for many years. They've just never had this much chlorine in the water of what they've had in the last few years recently. So, something I like to show people, some people think we come out here to do a magic show, like my hand didn't pull the chlorine out of that bowl. <laughs> I've actually done that test four times in one house. Okay, well he thought I had a chemical on my hand to make the chlorine oh, not show up. Oh, so he wanted me to wash with soap and water and try it again with my left hand. And then he wanted to try it with his own hand. Oh. And he had to wash and eventually he said, okay, I believe you. But instead of doing yeah. the test four times, this right now is still looking for chlorine. Yeah. There's just not any in the bowl. Put your tap water back in there. Oh, you see that oh color starts coming gosh. right back. Yeah. yeah. It just literally takes less than 35 seconds for your skin to pull it all out. Now, what what are some of the harmful effects of skin digestion? There's three different ways that we take chlorine in our body every day. One is the obvious ingested drink water, make coffee or tea, cook pasta, cook rice, you're going to ingest it because it also gets in your food. The second way is absorption. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. As you just saw, it's basically like a big sponge. A lot of people don't know you have about two million pores from head to toe. But the third way is inhalation. When you take showers and baths, the steam that comes off in the water, you just inhale those trihalomethane gases that the chlorine gives off. The reason why it hurts us so much more though when you shower versus when you drink it is very simple. We all have our own internal filters. We have our kidneys and our liver. Their design is to take toxins out of our body for us, so whenever we ingest things, it will always go through the digestive tract and go through your filters. Absorb it into your skin and it goes right into your bloodstream. Chlorine covers up a lot of imperfections that are in the water, and that's why they, they use a lot of it, and too many people associate clear water to clean water. Just because it's clear doesn't have anything to do with it really being clean. But just because you don't taste, see, and smell something does not mean that it's not in water. Yes. We show people that because we want everyone to know how susceptible to chlorine that everyone's body is, not just mine and yours, every human being on this planet.